worked for the Kardashians, didn't it? It's Mr. Hollywood with a uh, big star over here, Stefan. Look at Dapper tonight. Thank you, sir. Canadian Appreciate Screen it. Awards. Yes. Hashtag cool. That's what I'm Hashtag gonna, very cool. That's what I'm hashtagging you. Mr. Hollywood with the man. It's Martin Short. Marty looking good tonight. Thank you very much. You too. By the way, everything I learned about uh, doing this, I learned from Jiminy Glick. Really? That's right. So. <laughs> wow. What, you aim so high. I don't know whether to thank you or not. Um, yeah. You brought some kids with you? Yeah. I just. A couple kids were standing out front, and I had said, come on in, girls. Well, that's no, not right at all. Yeah. The way you said it, it sounded like that. Well, sorry. They, uh, they're in the show this season, and I, you know, they wanted to see what what I do, and I don't know, we thought it'd be fun. I don't think they're having fun. I think they're bored out of their tree, to be honest. Mr. Hollywood, and we're trying to position uh, Brent and Eric. You're saying your head's too big, Brent? Yeah, I should be two feet behind Eric. Now our head is about the same size for our viewers at home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, before we get into the interview, uh, cameraman Shane, if we can just show the, what are these, loafers? What do we got? These are little loafers handmade uh, in Italy, DeVito Wafnani. You know, I thought that I should bring it out for a special occasion. What, what better night than tonight? Yeah. My shoes were brought in from Nineveh. So. None of it. In inter interesting. This is D squared and uh, Diamonds Care of Burks, a very lucky Canadian girl. Mm. And uh, Natalie Tad did my bag. What do you got in the bag? I'm always curious what, what what's I'm in the bag. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> can I can I just have it in my hand to see how heavy it is? Sure, sure. Yeah. Wow. It's substantial. Carries I think I know what it is, and <laughs> I will not tell security. Uh, what are you guys wearing tonight? Did you put this together, or are there oh, some ladies brother. involved? I can't even remember. This is probably wardrobe from season four, Mr. D. Man. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. It's all love. It's just a blessing to be here, yeah. and and to be able to be on season six of the show. And we're up for like, was it the most awards or something like that? Yeah, somebody told us it's the most nominations we've ever had. So yeah, that's it's, good. it's pretty crazy. You guys are sweeping. And Darren, I think you're nominated for most hairspray tonight. I am nominated for most hairspray. I was hoping to win, but you're really giving me a run for my money. Do you have your own clothing line, uh, Brendan? Yes. Um, it's called Brendan's Closet. Yeah, you, <laughs> you can get it at my house. <laughs> and uh, it's mostly used clothes. <laughs> Mr. Hollywood on the red carpet. And of all the outfits I've seen so far, uh, this is probably the one that would stop a bullet. <laughs> right? Uh, probably not, so let's not test that theory out. Okay. Thank you got the three-piece. I do. I like in, it. in the hottest room in the world. I know. It's I very know. nice. It's a good choice. That's why I wore a halter, baby. At least you're not wearing Spanx. Uh, I'm, I'm all... not. How did you know that? How oh. did you know I'm not wearing Spanx? I was talking about myself. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> took 20 people to get me in this thing today. Should there not be a category for, like, best short and Snapchat? Or like best Instagram. You know what, you're totally right. There should be a whole social section of I these so, yeah. of these awards. What do you use? What's you? <laughs> I love Instagram. You know, yeah. I'm a good Instagrammer. Tweeter. Oh, you do the tweeting. I do the tweeting. There you go. Give us a, give us your Twitter handle. Uh, at real Steph J R E A L S T E P H. Check me out. Follow me. Oh my God, your Twitter numbers just your follower just went through the roof. Yeah, I'm because sure you I mentioned did. it on this show. I'm sure I did. And thank you for that. Thank you for allowing me to do that. So I'm wondering if you can look. Right there. Give me one of those classic poses that you did. Okay, go ahead. Come on. Because people must come up to you now and just pitch you things. They do. On they the do street. all the time. On the in street. A taxi cab, in at a the cab, in the bathrooms. <laughs> I have an idea. Okay. Go ahead. Quick, make it quick. Elevator pitch. The uh, the smart underwear. You know, okay. as a guy, you get you get hot, you get cold, you, yes. you need one and, that you can control. And and was you it can, thermo? Is it's it thermo? I haven't worked out the science yet. I mean, oh, we'll you, get you there you later. Need the science. Make okay. sure the battery pack's not too big, okay? Okay. You I'll don't want to fool anybody. Uh, you guys look good. You guys look great. Hey, there's a little question in your voice when you said, "You guys look good." Oh, yeah. did you just say my wife looks like a potato? No, I don't want to start a thing, but maybe I'll start a thing. Well, here he goes. A revival? Huh? Corner gas coming back? A revival? A reboot? You know all these shows are getting rebooted? Everything gets rebooted. Yeah. It's going to be a crossover. Corner Gas X-Files crossover. We're going to... Uh, Oscar's going to peel his face off. He's going to be some kind of lizard creature underneath that. It's going to be very exciting. Look forward like to it. it. I'm going to see this. I want to watch this. And I hope if they're going to do another one, I hope it's soon. That's all I can say. Oh. <laughs> Something we don't know. Time, time is running out for me. A lot of TV shows getting that revival treatment. Full House, X-Files. Pick a Canadian show that you want to see brought back, huh? Beachcombers, for sure. Ooh. 
Yeah, you can yeah. play Relic. Yeah, play Bruno Gerussi. I remember that joint. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that on TV. Oh, that's good with the slime. Yeah, that was, uh, that just popped into my head. That's the way I work. I mean, the Americans are doing what? Well, Canada. I, I only know English Canadian shows, but yeah. I'm guessing there's probably a tremendous amount of French Can French Canadian shows that I would like to see done from the 70s. There they, they, they was, they was groundbreaking work coming out of Quebec that I would like to see uh, revamped. I vote the littlest hobo. I don't vote that, but. <laughs> Marty, uh, talk, I have an image in my head, because I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah, thank you very much. I have an image in my head that you like to hang out with, like, you know, your big showbiz friends, like you. Steve Martin. Hands right in front of the camera. <laughs> you, Steve Martin. Hands like Glick would say. And you, and you stand there and you stand by people. Yeah, go ahead. So that's what I got from you. Uh -huh. uh, you, Steve Martin. Put that hand down. Yeah, good. Uh, Letterman, is that true? You have dinner parties, you hang out with these guys? Tell me it's true. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely true. <laughs> Boy, this is a good interview. It's like having Edward R. Murrow back. Anyway, good seeing you. Marty, thank you so much.